I miss you guys so bad. I also just miss the process of recording my progress. I know that this video is long overdue and I apologize for leaving you guys hanging. But your girl is back. It is Wednesday Woods and I'm back with another video on a Wednesday. It is September 29th and man, where did September go? It has literally flown by like pew. Um, but I am happy to be here. And your girl just turned 35 on September 24th this past Friday. And so big ups to me as well as anyone else who is celebrating a birthday this month. If you happen to be an October Libra, you know, I have the judicial scales on my back. Scale gang, gang, gang. Um, but I do just want to say thank you for pressing play and joining me on another video today. It is greatly appreciated. And if you are new to this channel, please hit that notification bell as well as that subscription button so that you are always updated every time that I upload a video. <sighs> so, as most of you know, um, I was awaiting for um, my surgery date. And if you've been following my stories, I had a right mastectomy on September 10th. And I just wanted to give you guys an update on what's going on with me, how I'm feeling, and what I've been up to. And so if post-op is a trigger for you, please stop this video and go over to like Wild and Out. Nick Cannon has honestly gotten me through these past two and a half weeks, making me smile and laugh, and hopefully he can do the same for you. Um... This is Conversations in My Bra, um, Blooming Blossoming Boobies, and I will be stepping back from the camera. Um, so if any of you guys notice any of my pink sisters out there, I have on my beautiful, fashionable pink surgical bra. Um, and so I do just want to back up a little for you guys. I only had um, my right breast removed as my oncologist strongly advised for me to keep my left being that it did not have cancer that I do not have any genes um, that run in my family of having breast cancer and that he thought that I should keep a part of my natural body and so I do just want to say thank you for my medical team over at Memorial Sloan Kettering. My oncologist, I know you guys have been inquiring, is Dr. George Pletus, and my plastic surgeon is Dr. Colleen McCarthy, and they were absolutely phenomenal. I am someone who needs to be handled with care, and they did exactly that. Their bedside mannerism was superb. Um, Dr. Pletus, he was there. He held my hand all the way through. He was there when I woke up and he visited me the next day. Um, and I just cannot feel more blessed to have the medical team that I've had. Um, and if you ever have an opportunity to do so, please give them, you know, a ring, a call, or I don't know, whatever. Um, try to visit them if you can. Um, and so, um, I did just want to back up and show you I did have two um, Jackson Pratt drains um, the day of surgery um, they were connected under my arm here um, one was removed the following week as it just wasn't producing enough liquid and so they removed it and I have one drain remaining which is a bummer um, but I am managing. It is causing a lot of irritation here under my skin. Um, I'm not in a lot of pain necessarily here as I've been really trying to stay on top of taking my medication every four hours um, as well as the anti-infection one every six hours. And so I didn't realize how um, dependent that I was going to need to be on other people. But... Um, I'm really trying to make this work. 
I don't know if I would have been able to manage having a bilateral. So shout out to all you women out there who've had bilaterals, who've had the DF, who've had C-sections. I don't know how y'all done it. You guys are the real, like, wonder woman out there. Um, I'm finally happy to say that I am a survivor and a thriver. But, man, this is some real ish out here. Um, they did give me these little prosthetics. Um, but honestly, I haven't been wearing them as I'm not really outside. And also, I don't think that anyone notices that I only have one boob. So I haven't really um, needed to use it just yet. Um, but can we just say, I don't have a lot of sensation or feeling in this arm. I have a like a forever crook in it now. This one stays flush to me, but this one still just has like an angle. I could hold it out, but as far as in down, this is as far as it goes. Um, I still am not able to shower. This arm is oh, so funky. <laughs> Um, but I do, I am happy that I do get to like, you know, still clean up under this one and put some deodorant and I get to throw some body spray on. And so that makes me feel better. Um, but bird bathing is not it. Um, um, also just the little things being in a car or driving hurts. I, I feel every bump, um, while I'm on the road. Carrying even a bag in this hand um, just affects my body on this side, and um, I, I just try not to carry anything. Um, tying my shoe, I'm getting really good with using my left hand to wipe, um, but just the small things, the little things that we take for granted, um, I really, I'm really just trying to get adjusted to as I am on my own. I have been sleeping with this little chair sofa thingy and um it's been comfortable for the most part as well as using a boppy um i do need better pillows you learn that as you 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 age and you get older you, you need more support um so i will be trying to order some pillows soon um but i have my left and this is my right i still can't do basic things like brush my hair with this hand um, I really can't even go over here they do want me to start going to physical therapy so that I do not develop frozen arm I am doing my daily exercises of um, the shoulder shrugs as well as going around with my arm but honestly I have a lot of numbness under my armpit as well as down my arm I feel like a charley horse and if you guys know how that like wakes you up in the middle of your sleep, like this is like five times worse. Whew. Um, but I realize it's really when I exert myself and exerting myself is doing anything longer than two minutes. Even texting, I was trying to like reply um, to my birthday messages and doing this was starting to cramp up and so um I'm really just trying to take it easy it's not that easy as I'm just so used to just doing things on my own I went to the grocery store and naturally I went to reach something with my right and of course realized that I couldn't went for my left don't have as much leverage and just broke down in the grocery store like oh my god I can't do this um pushing or pulling just little things um is a lot and so um i'm really just i'm just trying to get back to being healthy um thank you for all your encouragement um and your motivation into doing this i i thought my life was over and um i don't want to say it's not so bad because i definitely don't wish this on anyone um, and i don't want to make it seem like it's easy but it is manageable and i made it through I can finally say that I am a survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor and I am thriving. Um, man, this is this is hard. This is an emotional roller coaster. But you know, it is because of this village that you guys have helped me keep my sanity, that you guys have kept me up kept me uplifted, kept me in prayer. 
um, just thank you for all your love and support and just the outreach that you guys have provided me. Um, I honestly just, I don't think that I, I, I would have been able to do it if I did not do this channel. Um, also, I am publishing an article. I started a new Instagram page. Um, I became an angel and an advocate. Um, so things are really looking up and... Um, I am just, I'm, I'm happy to say that I am blessed and um, beyond grateful. So, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what was going on with me. Um, I am well. I do just want to let you guys know I am okay. Um, and the, the next plan of action is to, one, start the process of inflating this I guess um, and I'm choosing saline um, she will then um, give me a lift on my left and hopefully all is well I'm also um, on that journey of IVF and um, freezing my eggs and um, hopefully becoming a parent soon and so um, continue to wish me well and I just want to say thank you for joining me um, and so until next time, it won't be a long time, but I'll see you guys next week. Until then, tell a friend to tell a friend to get a mammogram and that early detection saves lives. And so thank you guys for helping me save my life and for all the recommendations, the advice, and the research that you guys have provided me. Um, again, I, 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 just, I just can't even say thank you enough. And so I truly miss you guys. And I'm happy um, to be back with you guys again. And so until next time, peace.